Hey everyone, I am so excited today to be flipping through my Motorcycle 2022 album. Finally, it's done. I think it took me a couple of months to do this, but it is chunky, chunky. And it's from a nine day trip that my husband and his friends took on their bikes their motorcycles. And they went through Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico. And they were on Route 66 part of the way. So I like to decorate the front cover I like to decorate everything. Um, and then the back cover, I put a sticker that they picked up on the road. This album is a 10 by eight album that I got from an Allie Edwards travel collection. I'm not sure if she has any more of these, but if she does, I will link it below. And it's called a buildable album. And the reason is that um, it doesn't have the rings attached to the spine. So it comes with rings like this but these were too small. And so I knew that with a buildable album, I could take those rings out and replace with bigger rings. Cause you know me, I like all the, all the things. And so I knew I'd be able to replace them and fit everything in. So I also decorated the inside front cover with just some motorcycle stickers that Kevin had, <clears throat> excuse me, and some stickers that they picked up on their trip. And then the title page is an Allie Edwards paper that we got in one of the kits. And I just printed on some vellum and there was like a white background here for journaling. I cut that out with my X-Acto knife and then just added in the vellum, the printed vellum. And then there's a piece of scrapbook paper behind it. So you can kind of see through it um, to see that paper. And then it just has the dates of the trip the states that they drove through and then just some information about the trip so there were three bikes nine they were gone nine days and they drove 1970 miles on the back i always like to include a page that talks about who was on the trip so for this one i did that that same vellum i just created a pocket and kevin insisted that i have duct tape so i have that on here and then I made a little three by four flip out card for each of the guys that were on the trip with their name cut out in uh, from die cut and then stickers with the name of their bike because they all name their bike. So this one is Kevin and his bike's name is Poncho. And there was a picture of him and his bike on the morning that they left for the trip. And there's a sticker for the type of bike that they have. So Kevin has a Harley. And then Dom, his bike is named Big Sexy, and he has a victory. And you'll see, oops, you'll see um, throughout the album, I've covered up the license plates, so you'll see those little sticky notes on there just for privacy. And then JR has the duck, and here's a picture of him with his bike, and he has a Ducati. And then I did also want to include some of them planning the trip because they took a lot of time to plan out their route and even like what they were gonna pack to take on their bikes because they have one bike and they have to take stuff for nine days. So that was interesting. So they met up at this bar or brewery and they kind of mapped out, mapped out their route. Um, also throughout this album, I have Facebook post from Dom. So he was putting Facebook posts the whole time. So I used that as journaling of in the day journaling from him. And um, I also used a four by six journaling card. And most of them I did digitally from Allie Edwards. And I'll try to link that pack below where I got those. Um, just some photos here. And then Dom had created a handout for me <laughs> of their route, which I thought was really cool. It's like an illustrated map of everywhere that they were going. And then here's Kevin's bike all ready to go the morning of the trip. And so you can see they have like one or two bags here that they have to take for nine days. So then I get into the actual days of the trip. And so for each day, I put a acetate um, divider for the page and then I did some cutting out of my silhouette so I did these large geotags with the state that they were 
coming from and the state they were going through that day or staying at that day. So this day, day one, they were going from Arizona to Colorado. I did a, what are these called? A gear. <laughs> uh, these are from Tim Holtz on there. And then on the back, I have another geo tag with the day, the date, um, the day number of the trip. These are from Colorcast Designs. And then I have just stamped out the day of the week. And then behind that, I have the number of miles that they rode that day, along with a map of their route from that day. So they started here and they ended up in Durango on day one. And this is printed on vellum. And then on the back, I have another geo tag, a big geo tag with just a chipboard in there. I have any stops that they had along the way, which kind of hard to read on camera, I think, but they're okay in person to read. And then I just have a little uh, canvas strip here. And these are from the Everywhere Collection by, is that right? The Wherever Collection by 49 and Market. So I use that collection a lot. Um, this paper is from Minte Papers from scrapbook.com. So I'll try to link everything below. Here's a picture of the guys on the morning. We were meeting up and leaving from here. And I got a sticker from them that said time to ride. I thought that was perfect for here. This is a chipboard from the adventure, or sorry, from the wherever kit. And then I also have some rub-ons. So you'll see that a lot on my large photos. I put uh, rub-ons on there from that kit as well. And then they rode off just as the sun was rising that morning. And then I did um, put some chip wood, wood triangles. I don't know what you're calling, what I'm calling these. Um, I put a few of them here on a couple of the large photos. For the most part, I actually did not decorate any of the photos. I, except the large ones, I did some, but the smaller ones, I didn't do any kind of embellishing or decorating on them. I like the photos just to stand out on their own. That's kind of my style, I guess. I, I've learned that over the years. I just like having the photos by themselves. But I do decorate with stickers from the trip or ephemera, things like that. So here I added an Eagle Fane Riders sticker, which that's what they were calling themselves for this trip. And then we have just on the road. So we have pictures of them on their trip. Uh, I will have stickers, like I said, throughout the pages to kind of break things up. And then I also have every day I have journaling. So Kevin took a writer journal, which is like a three by five kind of field notes type notebook. And so he filled out the information there. So he did that for me because he knew I wanted to document this. And then on the back, I have Dom's journaling from the day. So there's a lot of photos, lots of stickers from where they were. I don't have a lot of commentary about the actual trip because I wasn't there. So I'll just kind of flip through the photos and you can see that. I also had this... Um, I think it's called happy hour collection. And so I use that in here sometimes as well. So they would go to like breweries um, later in the day once they got to their destination because Dom is really into, uh, what's it called? Um, my mind just went blank. Anyway, he's really into beer. Oh, craft beer, that's what it is. He's really into craft beer. So he would pick out um, locations that he wanted to go and check out. And then each day I met with, I talked to Kevin uh, while I was putting this together and I had him kind of go through the day and talk to me about the day and what they did and things like that. And then I would take that and write up some journaling about the day. So it's kind of like his reflection now looking back on the trip. So that was day one. And then day two, they were just in Colorado. So I just had Colorado here, not a state they were going from. So this was day two, July 31st. They rode 213 miles. They went from Durango to Grand Junction, I believe. Yeah, Grand Junction. So they went on the Million Dollar Highway, which is a really beautiful, fun road to go on. So 
Here's some pictures of them in Durango and then just some cool scenery. I know there's a lot of glare, sorry about that. And then every once in a while I put a six by eight page in and so I just left it on scrapbook paper. I did some rub-ons and some, some more rub-ons over here with some labels from the kit. This is from an art journaling pack from Joann's. And then I also left resting spaces throughout the album as well. So this is a vintage motorcycle. It's like a temporary tattoo kind of thing where you put it on and you, um, it's like backwards and you put it on and then you put water over it and then it will adhere to the page. I also tried to use like, um, my brain is not working very good <laughs> right now. Um, just some metal accents throughout as well to make it a little more grungy, manly. Here they are in Silverton. And this is them uh, in like right outside of your ray on the Million Dollar Highway. Another one of them just driving. So it says miles and miles free as the wind, which I thought was appropriate for their trip. And here's another resting spot, the URA sticker, and then here's them with all their bikes, or here's all their bikes, not them, um, on 550, right before you get to this waterfall. And they stopped and had lunch in URA. And then I added some postcards. I had these, um, so I ordered them separately. They weren't from the trip. more photos, the journaling for the day, and then more journaling, hotel key. So I tried to um, add any ephemera that I got from Kevin. Here I needed to fill in a space because I didn't have a photo or a sticker or anything I wanted to put there. So I added this. Um, this is from that happy hour collection. And then this is from Tim Holtz. It's a die cut day three they went 187 miles they went from Grand Junction to Silverthorne and they didn't take like as the days went on there were less pictures <laughs> so they didn't take a lot he was using his GoPro that day so there's just some screenshots that I got from the GoPro video um, this says, this way out on our way to everywhere. There were lots of tunnels and rivers and things like that. So these are all just screen grabs from that video. And then they got to Silverthorne and they stayed there overnight. It's a picture of Dom's bike at the hotel. Here I added some Tim Holtz metal, again, metal accents, these different um, gears gauges. Uh, it makes the page really heavy, but I like how it looks. And then they went to eat at the steak restaurant where you actually grill your own steak. So they had fun doing that. And they loved this hotel. This was their bougie hotel. And they were so happy because they got to park their bikes right up front. So there's lots of pictures of the hotel. And then it had a really nice uh, bistro, tequila bistro there. And then Kevin didn't, I don't think Kevin journaled that day. So I just added Dom's journaling on the back and did like a filler card from that happy hour collection there. Day four, they were still in Colorado. This time they were going from Silverthorne to Estes Park through Rocky Mountain National Park and they drove 128 miles. So in the morning, they got up at their hotel and had a really nice breakfast. Kevin sent me a selfie. And they checked out the reservoir there in Silverthorne. And then they got to Rocky Mountain National Park. So here's another one of those wood pieces that I added on here. Another postcard that I got. And 
And here, Kevin had kept the visitor guide for me, so I cut that up just to fit in this pocket, added a sticker, did my journaling. This page is from an Allie Edwards travel collection, and I basically just took an X-Acto knife along the edge of the mountain here and cut that out so I could fit, oops, so I could fit the visitor's guide and the receipt in there. And it stays nice and snug in there. Another resting spot here with the sticker. And then another one of those wood pieces here. More journaling. Kevin was nice enough to go and get stamps for me because he knows I love that kind of thing. And then a postcard. And then they had fun just hanging out at the hotel. They were having like live music and a light show, so they really enjoyed that. Day five, we were going from Estes Park to Colorado Springs, um, 159 miles. Oh, sorry, Monument to Colorado. I think that's by Colorado Springs. I'll have to check with Kev. And then, so we just had journaling. He met up with one of his really good friends there who lives right near there. And Kevin really liked this picture because it showed the difference of the two bikes, like top down. This is Big Sexy, this is Poncho. And they hated this hotel. Kevin said that this was like the ghetto hotel. So they had they stayed in the bougie hotel the night before and the ghetto hotel that night. Then 274 miles for day six. And they went to, they went from Colorado Springs to Chama, New Mexico. So I think, yeah, here you can see it says Colorado to New Mexico. More GoPro photos because they didn't take very many photos that day. They just had like sent me a photo of them getting gas. And then a few pictures of them riding to get to trauma, Kevin's journaling, Dom's journaling. I liked this rub on that said on the road and then I added this happy place die cut right there. And this is my favorite photo. Sorry about the glare. My favorite photo of the trip. I love this one. Just Kevin and his bike and the New Mexico sign because that's where he's from and I just love that one. New Mexico postcard, journaling for the day, and just more pictures. They like pictures of their bikes in front of different backgrounds. Lots of that in here. They went to Chama River and checked that out. And then they stayed at the Elkhorn Lodge, which is a really old, I think it was like there since the 50s. And they really enjoyed that and just had fun hanging out there. They stayed in like these little cabins and they could park their bikes right out front. And then day seven, they went from Chama to Albuquerque and they went to Madrid. That was one of their stops. So they have Cummins journaling, Dom's journaling, postcard. Um, just some pictures of a, what was this place called? The um, Echo Amphitheater. And then they got to Madrid. So Madrid is famous for the film Wild Hogs, which is a motorcycle bike riding movie. And they kept the diner that was the, st the front, sorry about the glare. They kept the diner that was like the it was, they built it, I think they built it specifically for the movie. It's not an actual diner. Um, it was just like a fake diner for the show, but they, they sold this to someone that lives there. And so they turned the diner into a gift shop, 
but you can still go in and see like the booths and the counter and everything that they had in the movies. And then they have like tons of stickers and things like that. So, and it says like wild hogs all over it. So that was cool. They liked that. Then they, the last day, okay, so in, this was day seven and then this is day nine. So they ended up staying in Albuquerque for a day but they didn't really do anything there. It was just kind of like a rest stop. So I didn't document that. I was just documenting the different legs of the journey. So 401 miles on their way back. So they did a huge trip home, just straight through in one day because they just wanted to get home. And they just stopped at a couple of places, but mostly just rode straight through. And they actually got stuck on the highway because there was a, an accident. So they were stuck there. So they got off and took pictures of their bikes in front of the cactus, which I thought was cool. And Kevin just says it was really, really, really hot and long. They did stop and have lunch um, at Moose Henry's. And then they made it home back to Gilbert. And so this is a picture of Kevin pulling into the garage and then at the beginning I have a picture of him pulling out of the garage when he left and then this is a picture it's really hard to see on here but it's this is Kevin and then behind him is Dom with his arms like wide out like we did it so that was pretty cool you can see it better in person but it's not really showing up on camera and that is it thank you so much for watching